Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Now we've got a really good, or what I think is a really good beer coming up for you today. It's Sierra Nevada's Porter. I've reviewed the Stout. They're a very, very good beer. This is 5.6% ABV. And well, I just not had anything bad from Sierra Nevada. I've always enjoyed their beers. There you go. Sierra Nevada. So let's get into a glass. See what it looks like. Smells like. Tastes like. Okay. I don't believe Sierra Nevada's beer is a bottle condition, so let's get that all in there. Okay, so it's a dark beer. I, it's not as dark as the stout. I'm getting that straight away. If I just hold this at the bottom, you can just see the colours at the bottom. That's what I'm getting at the base of the glass. So it's, in a, it's a ruby red. And then where the, where the beer where the glass goes nice and thick in the middle, it's, it's an extremely, it is a very, very dark beer. And it's not as dark as the stout. It's a small one finger head, it's off white, tan colour, nice levels of carbonation, streaming there from the bottom of the glass. Let's get the nose. Now, immediately, from this I'm not getting any of the hops. Now with the stout, Sierra Nevada stout, it was quite hoppy. This is a more, it's, it's roasted, it's a roasted coffee, caramel, chocolate, vanilla, but I'm not getting any of the hops there. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Yes, now there's, I'm looking for differences because the stout is 5.6%, the port is 5.6%, they're both dark beers. Stout is the word they used to use for a stronger black beer. Porter was the name for the beer in London. So I'm looking for differences, I'm looking for a, a variation in the beer, and it is a big variation. The variation is that there is no hops, or there probably is, but I'm not picking up. It's mostly balanced in the direction of the malts. It's again a really dark roasted coffee, chocolate, and it, it's, it's bitter in a, in, a, in a malty bitter way. Mouthfeel. The mouthfeel is a coater. It coats your mouth. A little bit sticky on the lips. But it's exactly what you want in this style of beer, so thumbs up for that. Carbonation in your mouth, it helps to fizz the beer over your tongue, it helps to release more of them flavours. Vanilla, as I say, I keep, keep mentioning coffee and chocolate, it's, it's predominantly just a roasted malty beer. Show you the conditioning. <coughs> and me. So if you like this style of beer, if you like your, your stouts, your porters, then I suggest to go and give this a try. It's available in the UK on most of the online beer stores, so yeah, 
I think it's only two pounds, two pound fifty a bottle. Give it a go. But what I'm finding is that as soon as I finish tasting the beer, I'm looking to get back in and have another have another swig, have another little sip. It really is. And I've just noticed that now. I've looked at it and I thought, wow, I've nearly drunk, I've nearly drunk a lot. And we're, we're five minutes 30 in. It's a beer which you really could, I certainly could drink easily drink four or five of these. It's a, a well-suited session beer for me. Uh, label, Sierra Nevada Porter, their classic porter, is a completely natural beer full of roasted malts, absolutely which give it a rich, bitter, bittersweet and roasted toffee flavour. This medium bodied ale is perfectly balanced with a smooth multi flavour and crisp American hops. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not really getting them, them crisp American hops, as they like to call them, in this beer. You get it, if you want that in a, in a, in a stout, go for their Sierra Nevada stout. That is quite different to this. Also from the range from Sierra Nevada is this Celebration Ale. That is just, it's a freshly hot beer and that is just truly wonderful. And of course their Torpedo and their Pale Ale. Uh, they're the beers I've reviewed from them. Um, website for these guys. I think it's SierraNevada.com I imagine or SierraNevadaBrewing.com No website on there. Rating then for the Sierra Nevada Porter. What strikes me is that it's it's very nice. Mouth feels nice. Tastes are nice, but for me it's just lacking in. I think it's just lacking in the luxury department. It's. It's not a full as London Porter. It's not a full as London Porter. Um, but would I buy it again? That's the question I've got to ask myself. And that is a definite yes. It's a very, very good beer. Um, I'm going to give this a 7. A 7 out of 10 from the Real Ale Guide. I just think it's solid. Great beer to session. As I say, it goes down very easy. But it just don't hit them heights of other American or British porters I've tried. But thanks for watching. Uh, put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe if you like. And cheers.